Alright, hey everybody, Mao here, and today we're going to be playing some Pokemon, doing some VGC 2018 preparation battles. It is still the VGC 2017 rule set. We are using Trapinch, Lilligant, Slowpoke, Drompa, Hariyama, and Torkoal. And we have an opponent with a rating of 1442. We're going against Ash Ketchum here, so hopefully we can get a win. Uh, I missed where they were from. Uh, they got... Okay, so they have Driftbloom and... Drift Bloom and um, Tapu Lele, so I, I know that strategy. Uh, let's go ahead and go with Slowpoke Torkoal lead. I don't see much of a way for him to stop me from setting up Trick Room. I can't really fake out here. Um, if I don't get Trick Room, I want Drampa also. If I don't get Trick Room up, I need Lilligant. But Lilligant doesn't really deal too well with anything on his team. But then again, neither does Hariyama, and definitely not Trapinch. I mean, Trapinch can do okay against Arcanine with the Ground DMZ move, but he's still a fairly weak Pokemon. Uh, what can we do here? Trapinch? Trap no, I should go with Lilligant. I should go with Lilligant. Because at least Lilligant gives me some options. Alright, hopefully we can get a win here. I'm pretty bummed out about yesterday. I felt like I was playing okay, but I am pretty rusty. I really wanted that win against that 700 rated player. I want to play against more high rated players so I can, you know, start start getting a bit better at battling. Because I, I think in 2015 I was able to stay in the 1600 rating and hit 1700 a couple of times and then drop back down. And I was really hoping that I could do it in 2017, but I just don't think I ever was able to get it. I got close a couple of times, but I never got it, but that's okay. Um, let's see here. He's leading that Drift Bloom Tapu Lele. I assume he's going to try and set up Tailwind. Let's Trick Room and Protect, right? I'm going to try and Trick Room and Protect. I don't know how well this is going to work because I don't know what Tapu Lele is going to do this turn. Um, Torkoal is going to Protect. Tapu Lele could target into the Slowpoke. A Drift Room is going to Tailwind. does make sense. And I would assume Tapu Lele would target into the Slowpoke. Uh, this goes for the Taunt, but we are Slowpoke with the Oblivious ability, so that's not going to affect us. That's one reason why I really like Slowpoke, Slowbro, and... Slowking, they have the Oblivious ability, so you cannot be taunted, you don't have to use a Mental Herb. Uh, let's go ahead and Surf here. That's going to activate Torkoal's Weakness Policy, and then let's go for an Eruption. So we will have plus one Special Attack. We're using a Gimmick. It's, I mean, it works pretty well for being a Gimmick, as you saw yesterday in the previous episode. I did okay against a 1700 player. I definitely didn't play as well as... A more experienced person would. So I feel like this t this gimmick has some options. Um, I don't know about the trap inch though. I honestly don't know about the trap inch. If you guys have any suggestions uh, for to switch it out for, let me know. I only have it on there so I can lock my opponent in with like if they have Tapu Coco, then I can just switch trap inch in, then they're locked in, and I could maybe go for a ground DMZ. Eruption's gonna come out here. Hopefully it does a lot. Does enough to knock out the Drift Bloom, and Garchomp will be knocked out next turn. And my daughter is coming in to say hi to me. Hi, little one. <laughs> All right. We, uh, me and my daughter and my wife went to the party store yesterday to look at some Halloween costumes for her and stuff for her birthday coming up. She's going to be two years old, and she decided to pick Mario stuff for her birthday. Yeah. You want me to charge this? Go ask Mama. <laughs> uh, anyway, let's heal Pulse. And Torkoal. You like, you like YouTube? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. Uh, sorry about that. Hope you guys don't mind my daughter coming in to say hi to me. And talk to me about how I'm uh, uploading stuff to YouTube. <laughs> uh, anyway, Torkoal's full HP. Hey, 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 hey. 
Anyway, Torkoal is full, as I was saying, Torkoal is full HP thanks to that heal pull, so the eruption is going to do a whole lot of damage. Uh, the Tapu Lele protects. Um, I'm assuming since his Garchomp didn't have protect to stall out the the um, Trick Room, that maybe he was running a Choice Scarf. Okay, he has Tailwind up. Uh, let's go ahead and let's Flamethrower the Kartana and Eruption. Because we'll be faster. If Kartana has Protect, that's fine. But uh, I don't know how much we'll do to the Tapu Lele. Kartana does have Protect. I guess that makes sense. It's probably Focus Sash Kartana then, right? Uh, Flamethrower. Slowpoke is faster than Torkoal under Trick Room. That's one of the reasons why it works so well with the Heal Pulse. And Torkoal is just demolishing our opponent here. The opposing team's Tailwind petered out. But I believe that is his last Pokemon, so he will go down to our cool little gimmick here. With an Eruption and a Flamethrower, pretty much guaranteeing us a win. Unless, of course, he gets this Double Protect off, then maybe he'll have a chance. Because he could leave... Well, I don't know what he'd be able to do, actually. Alright, even with... Yeah, yeah, because I'm double targeting. So even if he knocks out one, the other one will still hit. I'm not sure what he could have done there. Maybe he thought something could have happened. He could have went for the double protect, hoping I'd disconnect or something. You know, that that's always an option. So anyway, thanks for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did enjoy, go and hit that like button, comment, subscribe, share, favorite, all the good stuff. It really does help me out, and I really do appreciate when you guys do that. So thanks again, and goodbye, friends.